Known as the Queen of the Skies, the 747 has captivated the world for over five decades. But just when we thought her time was over, something unexpected has everyone talking. So what could possibly bring this iconic aircraft back into the spotlight? In this video, we're diving into the latest shocking twist in the 747 story. Why now, and what does the future hold for this aviation giant? Stick around, you won't want to miss what's next for this incredible plane. For aviation fans, the memory of February 20th, 23 will forever be iconic, marking the moment when the last ever Boeing 747 was delivered, officially opening the final chapter for the legendary Queen of the Skies. Let's take a moment to recap the legacy it leaves behind. From setting new standards in passenger capacity and long-haul capabilities to providing an unparalleled level of comfort, the Boeing 747 wasn't just an aircraft, it was the symbol of an era. Indeed, this aircraft leaves behind a legacy of groundbreaking innovation and iconic design. Originally conceived to meet the growing demands of global air travel, this jumbo jet was built with a vision of transporting unprecedented numbers of passengers across vast distances at speeds previously unimaginable. Boeing's revolutionary design included the now famous humpback profile, which housed an upper deck above the cockpit offering extra passenger space and more cargo capacity. This unique design enabled this jumbo jet to set new standards in efficiency, holding more passengers and cargo than any other aircraft of its time. Beyond engineering marvels, the Queen became a symbol of luxury in the skies. Airlines quickly recognized its potential to deliver a premium travel experience. With spacious cabins, plush seating, and advanced in-flight amenities that elevated air travel for those seeking comfort and sophistication. Later versions, like the 747-8 Intercontinental, further refined these features with larger windows, ambient lighting, and advanced entertainment, providing travelers with an unforgettable journey. As a global connector, the 747's range and capacity enabled airlines to establish long-haul routes across continents, making air travel more accessible worldwide and affordable for millions of people. The 747's impact on the aviation industry is undeniable. It revolutionized air travel, connecting people and cultures across the globe. Its legacy continues to inspire generations of engineers and pilots, and its iconic design will forever be etched in the history of aviation. With its exceptional features and capabilities, Boeing produced nearly 1,600 of the iconic 747-S. However, over the past several years, many airlines have steadily phased out this aircraft, choosing to retire the aircraft from their fleets. Today, only around 400 of these jumbo jets remain in operation across the aviation industry. Even more striking is that only about 40 of these are still in passenger service with airlines like Asiana Airlines, Mahan Air, Lufthansa, Korean Air, and Air China. So what led to the decline of this once beloved aircraft that led to Boeing's decision to stop producing the 747? Before going to answer this question, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. You'll be helping us grow the channel and be among the first to catch our new videos as they go live. Now. Let's jump into the details. One of the first reasons may come from its fuel inefficiency. With four engines, this aircraft consumes significantly more fuel than today's twin engine models, such as the 787 and A350, both of which are designed to deliver comparable range with greater fuel efficiency. Let's make a comparison with newer options. The 747 burns approximately 3,800 gallons of fuel per hour while the Boeing 787 and A350 use around 2,900 and 2,700 gallons per hour, respectively. This difference is substantial. The 747 consumes about 900 to 1,100 more gallons of fuel per hour compared to these newer models. This translates to a 25-30% higher fuel consumption for the jumbo jet. It also means that an airline can save $100 million annually in fuel alone, by switching to a newer, smaller, and more fuel-efficient plane instead of using 747. All those numbers about the 747's fuel consumption make it a less economically viable choice, especially on long-haul routes. The environmental impact of this aircraft has also come under scrutiny. Its higher fuel consumption translates into higher carbon dioxide emissions, which is increasingly problematic, 
given the aviation industry's push towards sustainability and stricter environmental regulations. Additionally, the 747 generates more noise compared to newer aircraft, a concern for airports near urban areas where noise pollution affects local communities and where regulations are tightening. Competition from modern aircraft like the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350 has further pushed the Queen out of favor. These newer planes with advanced engine technology and lighter, more aerodynamic designs, offer airlines substantial operational cost savings. Their fuel-efficient engines, reduced maintenance needs, and quieter operation make them a natural choice for airlines looking to optimize efficiency and reduce environmental impact. As a result, the jumbo jet, once dominant on long-haul routes, is gradually being replaced by these models that better align with both economic and environmental goals, leading to its decline in commercial passenger service. So is the iconic Boeing 747 truly about to retire? With this question, it can be confidently said that the answer is no. The majority of 747s still flying today are for cargo, with over 300 747 freighters in operation. Remarkably, according to Boeing's 2022 World Air Cargo Forecast, the global air cargo fleet is expected to grow by more than 60% over the next two decades. Airlines like Lufthansa, Korean Air, and Air China have converted their older 747s into freighters, and dedicated cargo carriers like UPS and Cargolux have expanded their fleets of these aircraft freighters. This aircraft has several key features that make it ideal for cargo transportation, particularly in today's high-demand logistics environment. One of the most notable features is its nose-loading door. This allows cargo to be loaded directly into the nose of the aircraft, making it easier to load oversized items and bulky shipments that may not fit in the aircraft's traditional belly hold. The ability to load and unload cargo quickly and efficiently has become crucial in ensuring smooth operations, especially when handling urgent deliveries. Another advantage of this jumbo jet is its spacious fuselage, which offers tremendous flexibility in how cargo can be arranged. The wide body and two-level design allow the aircraft to carry large quantities of cargo, which can accommodate up to 140 metric tons of cargo in its belly and main deck, from standard containers to heavier, bulkier shipments that might require special handling. This capacity makes the jet particularly valuable for industries such as automotive, electronics, and machinery that often need to transport large, high-value items. And you might be wondering, why is air cargo becoming a growing trend? Due to several key factors that have emerged, particularly during the global COVID-19 pandemic, offline shopping is blocked. This dramatically changed the way supply chains functioned, causing major disruptions in traditional shipping methods. Besides that is the surge in e-commerce like Amazon and Alibaba. Industries like healthcare and pharmaceuticals saw a significant rise in air cargo usage. During the pandemic, the ability to move time-sensitive shipments across long distances without delays made air cargo even more indispensable. Furthermore, the growing demand for fast deliveries, especially for perishable goods, limited time offers, or high-value products, has further solidified air freight as an essential logistics solution. Industries such as technology, healthcare, and perishables rely on air transport to ensure that goods reach their destinations quickly and in optimal condition, making air cargo a crucial part of the modern supply chain system. And at this point, you might be wondering whether 747 cargo planes can compete with sea freight. Let's compare them. While sea freight remains the backbone of global trade, air cargo offers distinct advantages, particularly when it comes to speed and reliability. Sea freight is slower, and can take weeks for goods to reach their destination, especially on long-haul routes. In contrast, air cargo allows for goods to be transported across continents within a day or two, ensuring that high-value or time-sensitive goods reach their destination promptly. However, air cargo does come with higher costs than sea freight, which is why it's often reserved for high-value, urgent, or perishable goods. While sea freight is more economical for bulk shipments, Air cargo offers the speed and reliability that are crucial for industries where time is of the essence. As a result, air cargo is particularly popular for industries such as pharmaceuticals, electronics, and luxury goods, where delays can result in significant losses. As the Boeing 747 faces retirement from passenger service, the role of this aircraft in aviation may not be fully over, 
especially within the cargo sector, where its spacious fuselage and large capacity make it an ideal choice for transporting outsized goods. Many airlines have repurposed their 747 fleets for cargo use, with dedicated cargo companies seeing value in the plane's ability to carry heavy and oversized loads. This jumbo jet might also see a future in niche markets such as private luxury transport or specialized roles like military and government operations, where its durability and range offer unique advantages. Lufthansa is the largest passenger. 747 operator maintains a fleet of 19-8 models and appears committed to keeping them flying, highlighting that for some carriers, this jet remains irreplaceable. In the long term, while newer aircraft models will likely dominate, this jet could still hold a crucial role in the cargo industry for years to come. As Stan Deal, CEO of Boeing Commercial Airplanes, remarked, the 747 will forever hold a special place in aviation history. This enduring legacy ensures that this aircraft's story is far from over, even as its role evolves to meet the demands of modern aviation. What do you think about the future of the 747? Do you think Boeing might redesign or upgrade the engines to meet today's standards? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Safe travels and see you next time.